the government has shown commitment in looking into the plight of Kenyan domestic workers in the Middle East to ensure their well-being amid growing concerns of poor working conditions for the workers in a section of Middle East countries. This week, the Principal Secretary in the State Department for Diaspora Affairs, Rosalind Njogu, visited the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, where she experienced firsthand the state of female domestic workers. Lois Wangoy reports. A visit to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia by PS State Department for Diaspora Affairs, Rosalind Jogu, has revealed that hundreds of Kenyan workers are stuck in rescue shelters, popularly known as Sakan, desperate to come back home. On her Twitter feed, PS Rosalind Jogu gives an example of this shelter or Sakan in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, where she found 257 Kenyan female domestic workers hold up as they pursue possibilities of coming back home. The Kenyan nationals in the shelter seek to return home after the working conditions in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia failed to meet their expectations. Wakapata. Mwasiliano wakuli wakasema kuwa ni kweli yuko ni mgonjwa yuko ICU na kufikia saa hii hatuwezi kumchukua mgonjwa tum, tumsafirisha aje huko paka pati nafuu basi kama ni kutoka kule kuja Kenya kwa matibabu ndo tufanya hivyo katika hiyo harakati ya kusubiria vinyambapo wanaendelea ilipofika tare kumi na saba tulipata the PS has now established that domestic workers who abandon their contracts or who fall prey to human trafficking are deceived by dubious businessmen who lead them to jobs in the black markets, endangering their lives further. Now, the Ministry State Department for Diaspora Affairs is appealing to distressed Kenyan domestic workers in Saudi Arabia to find their way to rescue shelters, popularly known as Sakans, after which the Kenyan embassy will make frequent contacts to the center to initiate arrangements for their travel back home. According to the PS Rosalind Jogu, the Sakan shelters in Saudi Arabia are friendly to female domestic workers offering food, shelter and medical care. Her observations being a complete contrast of videos that emerge online on suffering and stranded Kenyan female domestic workers in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Lois Ongoy, NTV.